a continuing coverage of the school funding crisis, which is not just affecting brick and mortar schools. Tonight, News 8's Caitlin Smith shows us one of the trickle down effects. Caitlin, I'll get you a container to put them into then. Mary Ellen Ash likes to have her children at home. Pop some more in the oven. The oven's nice and hot for you. That's why her daughters, Caitlin and Sarah, take their sixth and seventh grade courses on the computer. And then each week they have a short quiz to go over the information. And they're students in the Pennsylvania Leadership extra. Charter School. It's a cyber school. Well, I feel like I have the best of both worlds. The school has more than 2,000 students in 340 districts across the state. And as those districts look for places to cut, the cyber school is getting caught in the crosshairs. I think everyone feels the pressure. That's because the cyber school is still considered a public school and relies on your tax dollars. So the money given to districts to pay for Caitlin or Sarah to go to school is supposed to be passed on to PA leadership each month. But unfortunately, not all the districts pay us on time. There is currently no penalty for them not paying us on time. So approximately 50% of the districts uh, never pay us. It's going to be 80. Now, the school does eventually get the money from the Department of Education, but by then, it's almost too late. That's frustrating. It's forcing the cyber school to go to the companies that provide its books, headsets, even computers, and ask if they can delay paying them. And the situation may be about to get even worse. If we are seeing a cut in their funding and they don't know where that's going, the other funding is going to come from, it's not going to be high on their priority list to pay cyber charter schools on time. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's right. Mary Allen wants her tax dollars paying for her daughter's education, but the cyber school says a discussion with the district is no use. It's kind of a losing conversation because we really have no, no way to motivate them to pay us on time. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8. State Senator Jeffrey Pecola is aware of the problem with charter schools and says he's looking into it. Cyber schools will also be affected if brick and mortar schools cut extracurricular activities because many cyber students are still involved with those activities.